Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. Breaking hash answers crisis. No massacre in Leki, says Buhari led federal government. The federal government has said that there was no massacre of demonstrators during the hash answers protest in Leki in Lagos State. It said what is being portrayed so far was social media massacre or a hoax massacre. It said it was a case of massacre without bodies. I asked international communities not to mislead by post on social media to impose sanctions on Nigeria. It condemned CNN's report on Ash Ensar's protest in Lekki and described it as irresponsible journalism. It said CNN relied on unverified and doctored videos, but the government said it would go ahead to regulate the social media in the country. It said social media was used to guide arsonists and looters to certain properties. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, who made the government positions known at a briefing in Abuja, said the government was satisfied with the conduct of the military and security agencies during the Ash Ensas protest. He said soldiers and policemen deserve commendations for their roles during the protest. Mohammed said, Why we have waited the judicial panel in Lagos to unravel what transpired at the Lekki Togit? What we can say, based on testimonies available in the public space, is that the world may have just witnessed for the for, for the very first time ever a massacre without bodies some have tagged it social media massacre the testimony of brig general ahmed ibrahim taiwo of the nigeria army before the panel was compelling and i am sure many of you have listened to or watched it the highlights for those who may not have watched the testimony her soldiers were deployed all over Lagos, including Lekki Togit, after the other security agencies were overwhelmed. On October 20th, 2020, upon the request of the state government, before deployment, the soldiers were briefed on the rules of engagement which they adhered to haul through. Soldiers at Lekki Togit fired blank ammunition into the air. Blank ammunition cannot do any damage to the flesh not to talk of killing anyone, firing life ammunition into the crowd, as some of alleged would have led to mass killing, which never happened. The minister has countries that had made hasty judgment on harsh answers protest to seek the truth. He said it was regretful that some people and the international communities have been calling for sanctions against Nigeria. He added, sadly, the the purveyors of fake news and disinformation succeeded in deceiving the world that indeed there was mass killings in kill in Lekki. Even then, till date, not a single body has been produced and not a single family or relative has come out to say their child or ward was killed at Lekki. More surprising and irresponsible is the fact that some people have been calling for sanctions against Nigeria or against Nigerian government officials on the basis of a hoax. This is one of the dangers of fake news and disinformation. Once fake news is out, many run with it without looking back, even when the truth is eventually revealed. We therefore want to use this opportunity to ask those who have alleged massacre at the Lekki Toge to go to the judicial panel to present their evidences to the world or simply admit that they have goofed. Mohammed insisted that the federal government would go ahead with the regulations of social media. He said, this development has reinforced the campaign against fake news and disinformation, which we launched in 2018. As a matter of fact, as far back as 2017, where we dedicated that year's National Council on Information to the issue of Fake News and Disinformation, we had been expressing we had been expressing concerns on the dangers posed by irresponsible use of the new media platform 
the concerns culminated in the launch of the national campaign, which I referred to earlier. The social media was used to guard house on it and looters to certain properties, both public and private, pictures of persons, including some celebrities who were supposedly killed at the Lekito gate by soldiers, were circulated wide, wa widely only for those persons to refute some claims or for the designing to disprove such post. As we have said many times, no responsible government will stand by and allow such abuse of social media to continue. The fake news disinformation purveyors have lashed on to our concerns to allege that the federal government is planning to shut down social media. No, we have no plan to shut down the social media. What we have always advocated and what we will do is to regulate the social media. Nigeria is not alone in this regard. The issue of social media, media regulation is an ongoing debate, not just in Nigeria, but around the world, including in the United States, which is the flag flyer of constitutional democracy. Even the owners of the various social media platforms, including Facebook, are increasingly joining the call for content regulation. Some respected opinion leaders have been playing to the gallery on the issue of social media regulations by making inciting and incendiary statements. Why some, why some other individuals and groups have been threatening fire and brimstorm over the issue of social media regulation. What they have failed to understand is that the only reason we are even able to have this debate is because we have a country. If we allow the abuse of social media to precipitate, uncontrolled inter internecine violence, the kind of which was narrowly averted during the Ash Answers crisis. No one will remember or be able to use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and the rest for whatever purposes. It is incumbent upon us all, therefore, to strike a balance between free speech, which this administration is committed to upholding, and fake news, disinformation, which it is determined to fight. Well, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? You know, I'm sorry to say this, our Nigerian leaders, they are crazy. They are wicked and heartless set of people. Upon the whole thing that happened at the, at, the, at, the, at the Lekki toll gate, look at what these people are coming out to say. Shifted the blame on fake news, they are shifting the blame on the disinformation and the bad using of social media. These people, our leaders are not ready to learn. I'm telling you the truth. With what I just read, it shows that our leaders are not even ready to change, to adhere to anybody's uh, uh, instruction. I'm telling you the truth. How will they come up and start lying about what happened? We all know that a lot of people died at the incident. So many people, li so many lives of people have been wasted. And these people are coming out. The federal government are saying that nobody died. These people are crazy. They are heartless people. I'm telling you. They are heartless people. So Lai Muhammad can have the right to come out and, and shift the blame on social media. We are not talking about social media here. What we are talking about, what Nigerian youth are saying is that uh, Nigerian youth are suffering. Nigerian youth are crying aloud because of the killings that is going on among them. And all those people are saying that social media is the cause of everything. These people are wicked. The federal government, they are crazy. I am telling you the truth. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news. Here anytime I need it. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Stay safe. Have a lovely day. Bye.